Wow, another day in New York. So now that we've concluded that the only reason why they've held me and my kids here all these years is because they obviously have access to some Indian-type funding, and because my sister Cam adopted a bunch of Indians, her first one from India, <clears throat> I'm assuming they applied that adoption strand right across the line and affected me and my kids, okay? Livingston County, New York. The fraudulent county of all counties in the United States, okay? And then to top that all off, now we find out that they are the number one military veteran suicide kill zone in the state of New York. So that would go hand in hand why they were chasing me down, trying to either get me to commit suicide, and then if I didn't commit suicide, well, that's why I'm homeless, because they get a balloon of congressional funding for the prevention of military veteran suicides, which all just ends up in their pockets. So if you want to talk corruption, we're talking corruption, okay? So I haven't seen my brother Chris since I was 18 years old. That's 39 years ago. I haven't seen my brother for 39 years. Held up, jacked up, financially burdened from decisions made by that loose leaf configuration of illegal wandering called Livingston County Court. And uh, I haven't seen my father since 1997. And every time I try to make movement out of here, some shit happens. Almost like, you know, they have such a huge betting pool on the monetary spread that they're getting from this various pots of funding that they just can't let go. So, Chris, since I'm probably never going to see you ever again, you know, 39 fucking years, it's a long, long time never to, not to see your family member, okay? It's, it would be different if we lived in different countries, but 39 fucking years, that's a long time. So, next time you talk to Dad, because I had to stop talking to Dad on a regular basis, because I noticed the rampage coming from my sisters up in Maine. The more I talked to Dad, the more they were calling people in New York to try to get me arrested. Now, that's some sick, twisted fucking shit right there. And now I see all these YouTube uh, videos where, oddly enough, women in and around Bangor, Maine, are killing their children. Like, focus on your own shit that's going on in your own surroundings before you spread your shit elsewhere. That's one of my strong beliefs. So the next time you talk to Dad, because, you know, I'm trying to avoid getting arrested by some made-up bullshit from some tweaked-out nut-job women. That's why women's rights need to be revoked. They've gone too far by allowing nut-jobs any type of decision-making on this earth. So next time you talk to Dad, ask him this. Does he have a memory of the following? He had a watch. You know, one of those old, you know, like they're big. They're gold, old, old gold watches, okay? And it was his grandfather's. He used to wrap it in a red handkerchief and he carried it in his left pocket. And the reason why he had it wrapped in the handkerchief is because, you know, the thought process behind it is if it ever fell out of his pocket, he could easily spot it with this red handkerchief and quickly retrieve it before somebody else got a hold of it. And his grandfather meant a lot to him. So ask him if he has memories of this. My mother, this before he got stabbed, okay? So my mother's driving down the road. We're obviously going down, going someplace of long distance, not to a local grocery store, because my father was on the passenger side and he fell asleep, okay? Directly behind my mother in the back seat is 
directly behind my mother on that driver's side is Kimmy. I'm in the middle. Tony's right behind my father on the passenger side. Oddly enough, the same configuration and layout in the vehicle as when we were on our way to the hospital, okay? When he got stabbed. So, <clears throat> Dad falls asleep, and so he's leaning on his right side. And Kimmy pulls, you know, little inch by inch, the handkerchief from the back seat. She keeps tugging on it, you know, just a little, a little, a little. And finally, the handkerchief drops the watch out of Dad's pockets and into her hands in the back seat. And then she's got the handkerchief and the watch on her lap, okay? Drive down the street, down, down the road. So I'm in the middle. I, you know, got my... Uh, three month, four month old, three, four month old fucking issue with my forehead where I slept a lot. And I used to have this black dragon stuffed animal that, you know, it was like my security blanket. And so when dad rolled onto his right side, I rolled onto my right side facing and leaning on to Tony, okay? So my dragon, my black dragon, hate is his name, was basically repositioned on my on my left shoulder, okay? Kimmy ties the 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 watch with the handkerchief and then ties the handkerchief to hate, which is my dragon. And then taps my mother on the shoulder and says, Mom, can I roll down the window? It's getting really hot and stuffy in here. And Mom says, yeah, roll it down on uh, Tony's side. So she reaches over, rolls down the window. She throws out my hate and Dad's watch out the window. So the wanting to roll down the window was premeditated, okay? And as she did it, Almost simultaneously, she leaned, gripped Tony's leg and squeezed because she needed, you know, like to push herself up to throw, to throw that shit out the window. And so then Tony wakes up screaming because Kimmy's digging into her, the side of her leg. And just as she begins to scream, hate and the handkerchief get caught on the antenna on dad's side and the watch cracks the side of the window on dad's side you know it's batting and smashing the window and dad has to uh you know he wakes up frantic and then he has to pull a pocket knife out and he has to cut you know to stop the because it's about to break into the car and scream and pull over so he uses his switchblade, cuts cuts the handkerchief off, and then, you know, hate gets wrapped around the antenna, and we swerve off the road. And then Dad's wild as hell. And, you know, he didn't... Screaming, you know, we can't go wherever the hell we were going. And then, you know, it's Kimmy, it's Kimmy, it's Kimmy. Mom refuses to acknowledge that it's Kimmy. She's fucking evil. Born evil. She's the evil seed in our family. And then she leaves. My mother left me and my father on the side of the road. Okay? She left me and my father on the side of the road. And drove off. Ask him if he has a memory of that. <laughs> it just came through to me in the middle of the night. And oddly enough, you know, I go walking my dogs and they're glaring. On the on the pavement is a uh, dime. A clear indication that the watch is like... There's some truth behind it, Chris. 
ask dad about it. I mean, we have nothing left to do in this lifetime than, you know, try to discover the truth about the evil seed in our family that, you know, spread so many rumors. And that's why we can't be together as a family. Love you, Chris. Tell dad I love him.